Oh, we are. We're such a big, crazy family, and uh, you know, Elle's grown up, and I feel we, we, Sam and I. There's a moment in this. I can't tell you what it is, but it's a sentimental. We got, we both got. We actually, we started crying, and we looked at each other, and we, we realized we don't know if it was the movie, the acting, or we just really just love her that much, and we're family now. And no, it's it's so it's a uh, it's very special. It's very special, and and now we have a bigger family, and we have this expanded cast, and a bigger story and so it feels like it's just growing and to be with everybody here tonight is very special. Obviously I was 14 when I did the first film and now I'm 21 so a lot of time has passed but it does feel like we really picked up where we left off um, in you know our relationships but also I mean we've really I've grown a lot of course had a lot of new experiences so I think for for Angelina and I specifically, our relationship has grown too because she, you know, we can now talk about things that we couldn't talk about before together. Um, you know, I'm, I'm older, so, you know, we can drink wine together now. <laughs> yeah. This is so exciting to see they're all dressed up and they're in costume and it's fantastic. It's so festive. No, it's really fun and it's really exciting and it's amazing to see so many people out tonight and they're all very you know, hyped and thrilled and dressed up, some of them, and uh, that's really great, really exciting. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. This is the, uh, you know, the changing of the seasons. We're around Halloween. This is the time to be deliciously evil and, uh, and to explore the, uh, the light and dark. So that's what we're here to do. I mean, first of all, being here in Hollywood and shutting down Hollywood Boulevard is so iconic. Um, I've never been part of a movie premiere this big before, um, with especially Angelina Jolie, and I love Disney, and it's just so exciting. The energy is unreal. Ever since I was a little girl, all I wanted, I loved Maleficent. When they heard, when my brother, I got a call from my brother saying, I heard there's going to be a Maleficent movie. You have to make a call, because he knew how much I loved her when I was little. And I was so happy when I got the call. I mean, she's iconic. Yeah, I think for me it's like the first, you know, Maleficent, the, the first film when I got that movie, I remember that feeling of being, I was so excited, freaking out, you know. So it was a really huge moment in my life um, when I got the, the first film and to be able to do a sequel. I've never done a sequel before. I've never gotten to revisit a character before. So to pick up, you know, where we left off with Aurora in a way, but also to watch her grow and become a young woman. And, you know, that's just a beautiful thing to get to do. And I felt a real responsibility for little girls that, you know, that loved the first film and to show Aurora grow and to a, a young woman that I would be proud to show them. Well, you know, she is kind of a force of nature herself. And, you know, there's really nobody like her. And um, honestly, there's just nobody else, honestly, I, I think, who could have played this part. Yeah, there's a great, like, sort of a combination of her and Maleficent that's happened. I don't know when that happened, but, uh, but you know, I, I really felt in the, when, I, when I watched the first one, you know, that there was this really beautiful and kind of important thing happening of retelling these stories and re-looking at these character tropes and, uh, and, um, and finding all of those nuances and, the, and those differences and subtleties that uh, are, I think for me, and I was, you know, obviously an adult when I was watching it, but I felt like it was something that I was like, if I was a kid watching this, this would have really had a, a major impact on me. Um, and, and the way that I took in stories when I was young was, was very different to that. It was very binary in a, in a way. And I love the fact that this is about all of that nuance and all of those kind of, um, you know, the characters that you can find all of this empathy for, you know, uh, an understanding of. And I think that's really important. You know, I am so excited. I'm always excited to, to see the movies, you know, from an analytical point of view, just to see how the performance was and how things were. And as soon as I saw that in London a couple of weeks ago screening, I was just blown away and I said, you know what, I can't wait to see this movie again. This is the second time I'm getting to see it. So I'm, 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 I'm super excited to, um, to share it with the audience. American audiences are always so uh, vocal, we should say, or animated perhaps. And um, so, um, so I can't wait to hear when they're booing and hissing and laughing and, and crying perhaps, because it's a pretty emotional 
um, roller coaster that we take them on? Um, I just I wrote a song uh, that was actually inspired by Serena Williams um, when she decided to wear a tutu, uh, uh, you know, at the at the Open and um, at the U.S. Open, and um, I just felt like she's such a renegade and she's so strong and empowering. So I, I was inspired by that and I wrote that song. Um, and the director Joachim, um, you know. A, 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 uh, reached out to me and said that he wanted to use the song for the movie and I was like oh my god it's so epic so it's my favorite holiday I dye the pool red I do all that crazy stuff I love it it's spooky I mean it is a, it's a it's a villain movie right so um, I think Maleficent she's always she's the best Halloween costume right so I, Halloween is the perfect moment <laughs> Yes. I can't wait to see them all this, this Halloween, but I suppose they did it, I suppose they've been doing it now for the last six years or however long it's been since the last one. October is actually my favorite month. My favorite holiday is Halloween, so it's amazing to be here in Los Angeles during this time. It's also because I love the costume and I love wearing it and I love the horns and the cape and when I make the film I'm the only one. Well now there's the dark fae, but really her outfit, it's just a, it's a personal thing and then when you see uh, other other kids and adults sharing in the fun of the same character you feel very connected because it's like knowing you look at somebody dressed in that and you know that you share the same spirit of a bit of wild a bit of a bit abandon a little bit of wickedness so it's a, it's you know we're, we're like a tribe that's a real theme here you know just the, the nature of family the families that you have the families you choose how those things can be in conflict and how they're resolved you know I think uh, as well as different communities and how they work together and integrate or not and what those complications are and so there are a lot of obviously it's for younger people this film but it's also I mean there's a lot of things that all of us I think can relate to and understand yes I mean what perfect time to launch the Mistress of Evil then in October you know she has this you know playful mischievous glint in her eye um, this kind of naughty energy to her which is um, so endearing and kind of delectable you know but at the same time I think there's an undertone in this of, of uh, you know, strong morality. And, and, you know, really I think that comes from her as well. So, you know, this could have been a, a, a movie which was just delect, delectably, uh, deliciously evil, but actually it's more than that. You know, the, the moral undertones, the conversations that we're opening up, um, you know, I, I think she should take a lot of credit for, for steering the, um, the ship in, in that positive, constructive and, and um, conscious and progressive direction. For this one, well, there's an expanded story. I think Michelle's just amazing to watch, and it's um, uh, and and I think the Dark Fay, Chiwetel and Ed and and everybody who plays it, uh, as the Dark Fay, it's not often that Disney takes such a known story and allows it to expand in a whole new way with whole new characters, a whole new world, and nobody'd ever really asked the question of what exactly or who exactly is Maleficent, and where did she come from, and and now we meet her kind and it was it was a very cool day on set the first time I came in and I wasn't the only one with horns. Maleficent is kind of unapologetic um, but she's strong, she's fearless, she's powerful, she's everything that um, I feel like you know all the women in my life have been um, and I'm really lucky to have ha you know to have that and I think that that's why I love this movie so much.